My name is Brian Lackey. Let's have some fucking fun. One of the videos I really enjoy doing is reaction videos, and I've never done them, so why did I send that? I have no idea. Fuck. I'm really kind of lost at what I'm doing here. Is this thing working right? Oh, there's... That's who there's the, where the camera is. Fuck it. I'll do it anyway. Another kind of content I like to do is comedy. Any other types I can think of, any types you can help me with to be cool. I'm perfectly willing to listen to anybody. About anything. Look at Just think of the craziest shit, man. I'll do it. Uh, I shouldn't be going, uh, but I don't really know what the fuck I'm doing. Am I speaking loud enough? Lou? Loud? Is this loud enough? As you can obviously tell. Let me know what you'd like to see. Throw that shit out there. I'll do it. You know, within reason. I'm confident. I'm charming. You will follow me. What is this guy thinking? This is some crazy shit. I also don't think he knows what he's doing. He doesn't even keep his head in the right place. I mean, look at this motherfucker. He's literally reacting to himself live. Reacting to himself live. The fuck. This is the stupidest shit I ever heard of. Fuck this. I mean, watching the entire My Little Pony movie would be more fun than this. Fuck this shit. Anything you want me to react to, just let me know. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. Just do it. You got the balls to challenge me? Let's see them. Well, I mean, in the context um, of this video, I don't really want to see them even as a challenge. I don't know. No. You know what I fucking mean? Today I'm going to be reacting to BTS's new song, Run BTS. K-pop. Hmm. Everybody seems to have their panties wet from this song. Let's fucking check it out. Okay, okay, Shake your fucking ass at the club to it. You know, what more can you ask for? It's a fun little 20 Rose Injury pop song. So, what more can you ask for? I think I already said that. I don't know why I'm saying it again. So, at this point in my dance routine, well, I wouldn't really call it that. I'm starting to wonder when I can't understand the words that they're saying. I mean, I know they're Korean, but uh, Koreans know everything. What can you say? How can I? Well, who am I to say anything, really? It's another fucking YouTuber. It's like, dude, I need like this. I'm just like. At the end there, I was a little unsure of what to do. I wanted to keep dancing and bobbing and weaving, but yet I wanted something more from what I was listening to. I don't know what that is, but I wanted it. So, thumbs up, 6 out of 10, and 7 if you're really, really into it, and 10 if you just got the wettest panties of all. So guys, like and subscribe. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Spoiler warning, I say fuck sometimes. Fuck. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is an action-adventure comedy film based on the popular video game series. It is the highest grossing video game film in the United States, but the real question is, is it fire or is it cringe? So at the beginning of the film, 
Sonic's basically trying to be a vigilante, trying to be a hero, and the couple he's staying with, him and Maddie, go on a vacation to Hawaii. And you can imagine something's gonna happen. Sonic's just planning to have some fun at home, but Robotnik is back, of course, and aided by Knuckles. Knuckles considers Sonic an enemy and is trying to honor his tribe by getting the Master of Emerald, which will fuck all of you. The Master of Emerald will give him and his tribe unlimited power. <clears throat> So Sonic and Tails are, <laughs> so Sonic and Tails, uh, and they crash into a wedding, and they crash into a wedding, and they crash through a wedding. So government agents kidnap Sonic and Tails and Tom, but they are rescued, and Robotnik and Knuckles find the emerald. Sonic and Knuckles put their differences away and join forces. Sonic and Knuckles put their forces away and join Knuckles. <laughs> Robotnik creates a robot, and the gang has to fight it, but they can't win until Sonic fucks them all. Sonic gets a hold of the emerald and becomes all powerful himself. And they see him and are afraid he might become evil. Is it fire or is it cringe? Well, it's definitely more on the fire side. Certainly more than the first one, which is surprising. I didn't think Sonic the Hedgehog could ever make anything resembling a good movie, but it has. Some critics complain about the screenplay, but I don't really know why. Were they expecting a masterpiece like Arcane, the streaming series? I mean, it's a Sonic the Hedgehog film. If you come to a Sonic the Hedgehog film looking for a great screenplay, you've got high expectations that you should really temper. Bad for you to have them. Bad expectations. No. The performances across the board are good, especially Jim Carrey as the mad scientist. Tika Sumter playing his wife as the sensible one in the family. For sure. So thumbs up, 6 out of 10, worth a stream. I'm not sure it's worth a ticket, unless you got kids that really want to see it. But it was a surprisingly solid film. They made it. Oh, they fucking did. But you're wondering, where's all the wild, crazy, manic energy from the last videos? Don't worry. Ah! I'll be back soon. You think I was like that 24-7? No. So like and subscribe to have new content delivered straight to your door. So like and subscribe. So like and subscribe. So like and subscribe to have content delivered to your door. Well, first shilling every week. I challenge you to dare me to do anything. I mean, I'm not going to swim with alligators for very long. So guys, do you remember when Jim Carrey talked with his butt in Ace Ventura? Check this out. Have a great fucking day. Fun another fucking YouTuber. Like and subscribe for more content. I am not using that. Hi, my name is Ryan Lackey. Let's have some fucking fun. In this video, I'm going to do some wild and crazy stunts. that will amaze you, gross you out, and make you say, what the fuck? Hmm. Kind of nice, like a massage for my tongue. Okay, let's go for high. See if my tongue falls off. That might have been a bit much. Well, let's take a look at my tongue. Ladies might love me now. I got a tip on my tongue. I call this coffee improvisation. So my friend gave me some coffee because he knows I like coffee. But then I remembered I don't have a coffee maker. But I really love coffee. So I guess I'll just have to eat it raw. And scoop of coffee. I also love vanilla coffee. And I got a bottle of vanilla here. So let's we'll just go ahead and put that in the coffee too. Also, I don't have any milk. The closest thing I could think of is mayonnaise. I'm gonna put that in with the coffee and the milk. So as you can see, there's raw coffee grounds, a bottle of vanilla, and some mayonnaise. Looks good. So, let's try it. It's <laughs> not quite as tasty as I thought it'd be. Plus, I just remembered vanilla has a lot of alcohol in it. <sighs> it really 
should have kept a bottle of water nearby. There it goes. on the fly, I'm improvising. I'm gonna call it Gorilla Tape Blindfold. See what I mean? Bad idea. Scissors here somewhere. So, let's just press this in good. Ah, oh, it's really thought I'd feel Gorilla Tape on my eyeballs. Of course, very bad idea. I hope you enjoy it. So well, here we go. It won't be as bad as I think. Uh... Well, here comes the eyeball part. Why oh, don't my elbow don't come out? Eyeball don't come out. Should I just wreck it? No. Survived. Are my eyes looking all right? Oh, look, it's popping out. Oh. Is it better? There we go. I call this cat food bonding. I love my cats, so in order to bond with them better, I'm gonna eat some cat food. And might as well mix the dry on the way. Cat food has a dog on it. All my cats are coming running, of course. So, let's get about a tablespoon. I put it in a cat dish here. So, there it is. Get all the dry food. So. We'll mix those up together. And let's hope it's not quite as bad as the last thing that I ate. And the coffee and the vanilla. Anyway, there it is. I'm gonna eat it. Honestly, don't see how they eat that shit. <laughs> so this next bit, I'm calling it pin face. Clothes pins, that is. That's right. I'm gonna put eight clothes pins in my face and on my ears. Eight. It's gonna hurt. I'm gonna leave them there for a bit. Number one. Number two. Next is, that's right, the eyebrow. This is really gonna hurt. Let's see. 
this route. One nostril, which you're probably going to be the most painful. Another nostril. So one upper lip. And one lower lip. Well, I could definitely go longer, but I just don't know how what fun it is. It looks very entertaining, honestly. Chin. There's that. Any redness? Maybe a little bit. Well, it's not as bad as you think. I could probably keep it there for two hours. I guess I should do that live. Six hours later, but let's see. I call this soapy mouth. Let's see the word fuck a lot. Like a lot. Let's see the word fuck a lot. I say the word fuck a whole lot. Like seriously, I fucking say the word fuck a whole fucking lot, all the fucking time. Like I say the word fuck, I say it all the time. I say the word fuck all the fucking fuck 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 time. Fuck fuck. I say the word fuck all the fucking time. Like seriously. My parents told me they would wash my mouth out with sex. I said bad language, but they never had to because it scared me too much. But I'm gonna try it, see how it is. Oh. So, are you ready? I'm going in. I'm going to sing, which is what somebody dared me to do from the challenge video. That was the first dare. So here I go. I'm going to do it. And I'll be singing Dancing on My Own from Robin. It's going to be scary. Somebody said you got a new friend. Does she love you better than I can? It's a big black sky over my tent. I know where you at, I bet she's around. Yeah, I know it's stupid. I just gotta see it for myself. I'm in the corner, watching you kiss her. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm right over here, why can't you see me? Oh, oh, oh. I'm giving it my all, but I'm not the guy digging the room. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I keep dancing on my own. Uh, <laughs> I keep dancing on my own. I'm just gonna dance all night, all night, all night. All night. I'm so messed up. I'm so messed up. I'm so silly. It's not. Like, I mean, I told you. Not, 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 not something anyone. Not, no. It's not, uh, it's, no. <laughs> Oh, 
I hope you enjoyed this video and didn't get too sick, especially with my singing. The good thing is now I have branded bar bags you can buy from me. Just kidding, of course. Hit that subscribe button to get new fresh content from me every week. Satisfaction guaranteed. There are still clapping around, and so am my fucking mouth. I'm going to be playing Fortnite in this video. It's a first person shooter video game. It's one of the most popular on YouTube, and I like playing it. So let's check it out. So just waiting for it to load here. This is a fun game. I'm going under the name of another fucking YouTuber, but it's A N L T H F K I N G Y T B E R because I don't think they let me use the word fuck, but fuck them. So I'm gonna be a woman. Just pick man or woman in it, and you have to go with that. It's fine. I don't care. I don't care what Denmel's at. This is called a battle royale. Uh, it's the type of game where a bunch of people are fighting each other, and whoever the last man standing, last woman standing wins. So at the beginning here, you're just kind of fucking around, you're not really in the game. People have dance around, have fun in this part, it's very short. Pretty easy, actually. It doesn't, it's a pretty easy game, it's fun. There's a similar game called PUBG Battlegrounds. This game kind of stole the idea off that game. But, you know, that's fine. They didn't own the copyright to it. Or I think they might have actually tried to sue them, but they couldn't. Yeah, it didn't work. Here we go. Let's play. We jump out of the bus, there's an airbus here, which is kind of weird. But you're supposed to think the bus driver, I have no idea how or why. We're jumping out here, and we're on an island, and a bunch of other people are on the island jumping out of the bus too, and so you have to gather weapons and other things, healing materials, you can build stuff. I don't really do that because I don't know how. So I got this umbrella thing, I earned it after playing for so long as a, as a bonus. It's nighttime in this game right now. Sometimes it's the daytime. It changes uh, times the day. So let's go up here and see if there's anything up here to get over the people. Have something to build with, they don't really care. Oop, there goes the wolf. At the top of the screen you can see the map. Um, soon, it, there's a countdown there. When it gets to the countdown, I'll have only so long to get to a designated spot. Or there's a storm. It keeps taking over the island, you have to get out of the storm's way because you're caught in the storm and you basically die for not too long. The game is basically narrowing down the land to a specific spot, and that's where you have the final battle that's usually between two or three people because everybody else has died. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some. Here I go. Look over here. Maybe the wolf won't follow me. Ah! Fuck! Die! 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 die animal! I'm not really an animal. Not the old trying to me. There's a car. It's a car. Yeah, fuck. Hopefully the wolf won't be able to the car. Alright, let's go. Get out of here, wolf. Okay, let's get out of here, go somewhere. Not not there. Let's go down here. Really need a few more weapons, but I don't want to really run into them. I might die. Shit, there's a person. Let's get back in the car. Maybe they went over. Did we? Yeah, let's fuck him. Okay. I need to get some more weapons though. You know this stuff. Is there anything here? Wait, yes there is. But God, give me a weapon. Give me a good weapon.
Brought to you by the YouTube channel Another Fucking YouTuber. Go to my channel page, see that subscribe button. You know what to do. When in doubt, run for your life. That's okay. It's about shooting him. Oh well. Hopefully they won't be able to fall on me. I don't know who they are though. Ow. It can be Spider-Man sometimes. This is gonna be scary. Let's see what happens. Not too realistic. I know what happened in real life. Okay. Well, it's not good. Sometimes there's a shark in these waters. Generally not when you just swim a little bit. Alright. Enjoying it? I hope so. Whoa. Oh shit. Ah! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I don't think so. I placed 10th, which is always good. I leveled up. Yep. Okay, here we go again. Being a woman again. Woo woo wah wah. No. She's not real. No. Not real. It is fun, buddy. In video games, anyway. Oh, it's Indiana Jones. It's an Indiana Jones movie really coming out. Which should be interesting since he's almost 80 years old. It looks good though. Yeah. We're almost 8. Don't you guys like my stunt video? It's gotten really popular and more popular than any of them. Which is fine, I can do more. Don't worry about me, I know what I'm doing. As far as you. So if you guys like my Fortnite video, I will continue to do more and learn more about it, so it will be more interesting. I don't say that. It will be great. <laughs> Better. Oh, there's a person. I can see their bubbles. Still there? Yes. That doesn't come to me, honestly. Oh well. It's gonna restore my health. They don't care.
there's a meowing fun in this video. There will be cats meowing and other such fun stuff. Enjoy. <laughs> subscribe button for getting more new content fresh content lovely entertaining content for me every week i don't know why i do this voice but that's the way it meow have a great meowing day another meowing youtube meow starting to sprinkle we better go on <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over here under where our park benches. <laughs> Just kidding. Ah, uh, bad hair day. By the way, there have been three alligators spotted in here and they've ate four babies. So, BB, you should do something about that. I'm just kidding, it's a joke. No alligators in here. Don't ban me from the pond. Please, BB, I like it here. I'll cut it out, yeah. If you ask me to. Sorry about the lighting. It really sucks. I think it has something to do with it being cloudy. Look at this water over here. Holy shit, something jumped in. That was scary, let's go. Here there is an alligator. Just kidding. <laughs> Look at the muddy water though. Perfect for an alligator. Did I ever tell you I had a chain link fetish? Just kidding, of course. Jeez! So sensitive. No yaks. I <laughs> want the book! There will be a tornado sometime I can film. You can go up in the tornado and live. And they can, 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 can capture it. If, 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 if you though. By the way, I've decided to run for president, and the name of my party is going to be the Fuck Politicians Party. So get ready to vote for me the next election. 
Start making out a petition now so I can get in the race. I appreciate it. I'm just kidding. Fuck politicians. I... Hello, how are you? You must like the way I look. Don't blame you. Jolly Jerk sounds like Santa is jerking off. It does almost the holidays. What kind of women do you like? Pretty much the dudes. You're into dudes? What kind of dudes do you like? That many. You like many dudes of all kinds? Oh, <laughs> uh, hell no. Hey. Yo, what up, you old ass man? Oh damn, somebody just told me I looked like I was in my 30s, what are you talking about? Yeah, fucking right, buddy. No, well, this old man will uh, suck your dick. Hi, right. you look like a celebrity. You look like, like um, the guy who was in Star Wars, he played uh, the bad guy. You got the mustache. Yeah, what are you doing on a Omega? That's just a still picture. If not, are you catatonic? That would be interesting to be catatonic on Omega. You just stay there for hours. Oh, I can see you breathing. You're definitely not still. You could be catatonic, though. You know what catatonic means? So what are we going to talk about today? I'm a life coach. Do you have any problems you want to talk about? How's your mom doing? She hasn't been over to see me for a while. Are you asleep? Wake up! Oh my god. Talk about a sound sleeper. It'd be cool if you talk in your sleep, though. Or like I'd say something and say, Oh, yeah, I'll suck your dick. That'd be awesome. Well, if you aren't going to say anything, I'm going to have to say you're going to be on YouTube. Because this is a YouTube video. What do you have to say about that? Let sleeping dogs lie. Hey. How are you? What's the heck? How are you? What kind of what kind of outfit is that? What does that mean? It's a uh, soccer. Atletico Madrid. Are you a professional soccer player? No, 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 no. I'm from Ireland. Ireland Irish soccer players just always wear that. Yeah. Where are you from? Shouldn't it be green instead of blue? <laughs> Are you pressing your mother's boobs? Can I join you? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Well, move apart, make way. Uh, yeah. Come, come, come. Uh, are you gonna give me a show? We're, we're having sex. I don't, that is not a position of having sex. You're not in a position. No, no, no. no. We, we'll, we'll have it. We'll have it? Oh, cool. So what about you? What about you? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll masturbate to some porn, some, uh, later. Ew, why are you ugly? You can my, you can my... I didn't think so. Hey, how you doing? Hello? Are you there? You're black. Did you feel racism while growing up? Hi. Are you blind? No. Then why are you wearing glass? I just, I, sometimes I like to pretend I'm blind. What in the fuck? Thank you for joining me today, Mr. Beast. Let's get right to the point. I know I signed an NDA, but my viewers deserve to know. The public deserves to know. What's the secret to your success? I know. It's cocaine, isn't it? It's all like a blur. I mean, ask me more questions. I, there's so much to talk about. <laughs> okay, calm down. You need to lay off the... a little bit. So how much do you spend on cocaine a month? In total, it'll cost over $10 million. Holy shit. Well, it seems excessive. Why would you just buy this? You know what I mean? Yeah. Now it just sounds like I'm being expensive and lavish for no reason, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because you, my friend, are a fuck, fuck, fucking cokehead. There's a strategic reason why. So you're saying basically you're number one on YouTube because of cocaine? Exactly. Let's... Let's talk about your... Let's talk about your... Let's talk about your crew. I heard you can get blowjobs from any one of them anytime you want. Like the one who's on blowjob call duty? It'll come down. Wow. <laughs> No. Okay, just the tip. Hold on.
<sighs> you eat a lot of strawberries, don't you? Yes. Concerning your content, you've given a lot of money away to homeless people. Why is that? Well, because then you see the reaction, their face light up. Did you happen to know I was homeless? So you're still a very young man. What are you going to do in 40 or 50 years? YouTube is what I live and breathe. Take them all away. I don't care. I just want YouTube. YouTube's the future. 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 YouTube's the interview I do appreciate it did you actually hire someone to kill me to try to get out of this interview I don't know I went to great lengths they say you become a great chef in here how did that happen it's a process it doesn't happen overnight sometimes some inmates go missing right around the time you cook a big meal for everybody seems to make it easier you knew Bill Cosby in the 80s I heard what did you learn from him have a few drinks have the sleeping pill mixture already prepared person would drink it fall asleep I also heard that you were a big Smurfs fan and wanted to cosplay as Smurf, but you didn't get to do that. It wasn't an opportunity. What did you do to the guy in prison who said he would stomp on all the Smurfs? Apparently I had uh, beaten him to death. you think your love of the Smurfs has anything to do with the revival of the franchise? That's what started the whole spree. Why Smurfs? It was almost addictive. Do you think your love of the Smurfs had anything to do with you becoming a serial killer? There were times. I heard you went off Smurfs for a while. What happened? I tried to overcome the thoughts, and it worked for a while, but eventually I gave in. How did the Smurfs make you feel? There was excitement. So what is your advice to all Smurfs addicts? Just uh, make a complete confession. What else did you do in the 80s? That's when the cannibalism started. Shouldn't we all take responsibility for our actions, Jeffrey? Uh, hot water. So let's be honest. Since we've been doing this interview, what do you really think of me now? The best looking young man uh you're so sweet so we haven't touched on this much but you are a convicted serial killer how does that make you feel hot water uh-huh thanks for that answer so thank you jeffrey for the interview i appreciate your time mm -hmm. later this could not be more horrible hot water well just testing this let's hope it turns out good i like the way i look in it Ooh, blah, 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 and all of that. Joining me today is Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, Tesla, and now Twitter. You, you don't do the headphone thing? No, is that okay with you? There's no there's no resource allocation. How's about you give me a billion dollars and I'll get plenty of headphones? I promise. What is the thing you're most proud of that you have accomplished? Uh, Dick fix. That is a strange answer. <laughs> so what is your advice to young people who want to succeed, but also want to make a difference? Help humanity, like you have. Or, say you have. Have you? you try to ingest. Ingest what? Can't get enough of the oil of it. Come right out and tell me so. You mean ingest cannabis edibles? Is that what you're on right now? <laughs> so have you ever participated in a CEO orgy? I could try. <laughs> See what happens. I heard you spent the night with Amber Heard when you were seeing her, and she just pegged you all night, and you were late for work the next day. Got on my knees, so extremely stressful, I'd say, to say the least. So, lube? No. <laughs> when it was over, how did you feel? It was a great relief. Yeah. So what did you think of the Jeffrey Dahmer interview? I was actually inspired by that. So you were more inspired by my serial killer interview than the one with Mr. Beast? Are you a fucking cannibal, Elon Musk? It's like, um, so, so then, like, say, so like, like, uh... Okay, then. You think you'll be canceled now that you admit to being a cannibal? Many smart people, very smart people, have tried to do this before and they've not succeeded. So Army Hammer is your friend, he's just a normal guy to you? Much less dangerous than you'd think. 
I think it's laudable that you want to get people to Mars. But don't you think we should prepare for nuclear war just in case? If you want to know what it means to stand in front of nuclear fire, go outside. The sun is a gigantic thermonuclear reactor. That sounds fucking insane. It just doesn't make any sense. So you're the world's richest man, and you like dollar store food. Are there any consequences to being that rich and being able to have access to all that cheap food? Food is extremely cheap. Obesity, too many calories. I mean, when was the cheeseburger invented? That's like an epic invention. Thank you, Elon Musk, for such an informative, enlightening, and sometimes very frightening interview. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I've been eating alive by the world's richest man. Not bad way to go.